What's it going on YouTube? Hope you guys are having a great weekend. Up here in Pennsylvania, it's raining all day, so I figured I'll make some videos for you guys. A lot of people have been asking before of what type of beer co-wash slash beer conditioner do you use, what to use. I got five of them that I use and I want to put my top five, not necessarily top five, but the five beer conditioners that I've actually experienced and I want to recommend them to you. I'm going to go from five to one which ones I recommend and I'll link all of them in the description below because not every person is going to use the exact same beer conditioner that I use or whoever uses. Whichever works best for you or you'd like to try, I suggest you give these a try. The fifth one that I'm going to start with, I found this from Scuba from Beer Tube. It's on Amazon. It's from Premium Nature. It's the Argan Shampoo. This is actually the shampoo bottle. I actually do not have the conditioner. I've held onto this bottle so I can make this video. They sell this, I think it's $10 a bottle, but you can get this in a pack. You get the shampoo, you get the conditioner, and you get a heat shield. What it is is it, it's a product where you can spray on your beard and it actually protects and coats it so it doesn't get burnt and dried out if you blow dry your hair. It's a really good product to actually use it, but you get all three of those together. I think it's $25, and these come in 8-ounce bottles, and the ingredients are very, very simple, not hard to... Uh, not hard to pronounce, so that's telling you a good thing. This doesn't smell like a chemically, actually smells like a nice shampoo, and the conditioner is the exact same scent, although it's in white. That'd be the fifth, of the five, that'd be the fifth one I choose. Number four, I know a lot of people have heard about this company, and that's the Boss Man Brands Fortify. This is actually the Stagecoach scent. This is a really nice beer conditioner. It's in a four ounce bottle, which is not necessarily a downfall. The scents of all the Boss Man brand products are amazing. All four of the scents he offers are incredible. And again, the ingredients in here, which very minimal, but very, very nice. There's only one downfall that I have found to using this conditioner. And it's with any of the scents that, I, that they offer. If you use this, you are kind of limited that you have to use something similar to or the exact same scent in the beard oil or balm, whichever you're going to use. This is actually a leather, tobacco, and bourbon scent. And there's nothing wrong with that at all. It is more, you can't pretty much get any more manlier than that. But this scent is super duper strong. I actually tested this by itself just to see how long it would last. And dead serious, I could smell the scent from this conditioner all the way to the next day. This scent is very, very strong for me. This is a 24 hour long lasting scent. That's okay, but if you don't wanna smell like this when you get out of the shower, this is not for one, this is not a product for you. I'd recommend it, but you might wanna consider buying the matching oil, balm, or beer jelly that they offer for this. Number three, I'm gonna say is the Scotch Porter Beer Conditioner. This is eight ounces for $20. There's only one downfall I do not like about this, this. I don't like dealing with this in the shower. It's a great beer conditioner. Smells to me like root beer or birch beer. A lot of people say it's like a barbershop or a marshmallow scent. That's okay. I get root beer more from it. This is a good conditioner. I used this one for almost six weeks and I'll show you again. You see how much I've used? I actually have not used this since the other two I've got. This is a good beer conditioner. It gets the job done. It's kind of more along the lines on a lotion-y sense. That's okay. But if that's not what you're looking for, you might want to try another one of these two. The number two that I recommend is the Luxurious Bastard. And that's a coconut breeze scent. And he's a very sophisticated, classy company. And don't, don't uh, knock or think anything bad of this paper-looking label. It's more like the old-fashioned type of uh, presentation he's offering. And I, I actually think it's pretty nice. I think that it all shows character to the products that David offers. And again, this is a mild coconut scent. And coconut really doesn't mess, or mess with any of the scents that you're going to put in your beard. At least I don't think so anyway. And this is a four ounce bottle. I think this is $15. And again, it comes with the snap cap. And I, I really like that. Very convenient for the shower. 
but this is a really, really good conditioner as well. This one makes my beard very, very soft, but I will say 100% honest, the number one beard conditioner, which I use and I recommend, is the Chesapeake Beer Co's Co-Man Co-Wash. This is a driftwood and sea salt scented beard co-wash, and it's a deep conditioner. When I say deep conditioner, it gets in there. This is not something, I'm trying to word what I want to say correctly. It works 100% very, very well. You don't necessarily have to use this every single day. You don't really have to use a conditioner every single day. I do. I use a beer conditioner seven days a week, and I wash my beard twice a week, maybe once a week. But I like the fact that if you put these... You put any five of these through your beard and you can run a comb through them just as good. I mean, literally no snags, no nothing. This has made my beard the softest and I know 100% for sure this conditions the best. Just my honest opinion. Again, I'll go them over again. Number five from the Premium Nature. It's a, they call it the Argan Oil Conditioner. The number four would be the Boss Man Fortify and in any four cents. Number three, I would say the Scotch Porter beer conditioner. Number two, I'm gonna say the Luxurious Bastard Coconut Breeze. And the number one, again, is the Chesapeake Beer Company's Co-Man Co-Wash. That's the five that I recommend for anyone to use. In order, five to one, of course. Any of these are gonna do the job very well. Whichever you decide to try, I say try any of them because they're all worth it. But again, Chesapeake takes the cake. I hope you find this video helpful. I'd like to thank you again for watching and keep on bearding.